Hi guys, today we are looking at cleaning guitars, um, specifically polyurethane finishes. So we've got a polyurethane guitar, um, as we briefly talked about before, well I say briefly, it wasn't so brief, but um, just briefly this time, it's the very, very tough, thick, shiny finish that you get on, on a lot of guitars, very, very common. Yeah, electric and acoustic. Electric yeah. and acoustic, absolutely, and it's very tough, I mean, to the, it's, it's very, very hard, it's almost kind of... Like yeah, you, you don't need to be worried about, you know, polishing it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I remember when I was, when I first, this is really embarrassing, but when I first started playing guitar, I used to think they were made out of like enamel or something, just because right. it's almost like a sort of, uh, like porcelain, like you'd get in like a, like a bathroom. It's very shiny. It's very, yeah. very tough. It's that kind of finish. Um, Nitrosolos, which we'll look at, easier for me to say, which we'll look at next time, it's much softer. So anyway, let's start with... Um, with the poly finish, so what, what are we doing here? So we're going to use uh, Gibson Pump Polish. Oh, no, that it's, a, that's a plug. This is pretty safe on all finishes, okay? Okay. Um, but very good to use on, on a poly, okay? You sure. could use Dunlop 65 too. Okay, and okay. Gibson Polish on a Fender guitar, that's going to be... <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and whilst the strings are off on this okay. particular sort of style of guitar, uh, you can get on the clean the scratch plate up and, sure. and you know when the strings come on go back on it's a bit harder to clean so okay. we can get to this area as well as the headstock area quite yep. quite quite easily okay perfect so we're just going to just spray a few uh, bits of pump polish on there yeah let me just have a look at that close in so it actually has quite a lot of dirt on this guitar it's, it's a lot of come current. off so I mean, with the and white, so with the stuff. pump polish, we're we're cleaning it really, okay? Okay. We're lifting the dirt off the top of this poly like that, okay? Sure. And we just get in between the pickups. Um, with a you know a full pro setup, uh, I'd probably take the neck off. Okay. Okay. Um, there's always dirt and debris down in here. Which okay. You can more or less see. Okay. We can get in there and clean it pretty well. But yeah, I see. When you take the neck off, and as you can on these styles of guitars, you might yeah. as well. But look at that gap. You might not be uh, so happy to take the neck off. Which sure, is understandable. No, that's fair enough. So there's a little bit of a gap down there. I mean, I guess that's down to sort of manufacturing, really, isn't it? Yeah, uh, and you will get sort of dirt and stuff like that sure. in there, for sure. And, and there's, a, there's a bit of a crack down there. I mean, this is pretty common with strats. I mean, is that... Yeah, and, is that and that sort of about? also sort of denotes the, uh, the finish there. Okay. Because that's quite a thick crack. Okay, okay, fair enough. If it was a cellulose guitar, you might see a stress crack in there appearing right, over okay. time. But yeah, that's fair. I've got common. a couple of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. And is that something to be worried about with those cracks? Because I've definitely had that happen on strats. I, I wouldn't worry. No. Um, I think the you know the string pitch and how, how the neck is in the pocket is the concern rather than the aesthetic there. Right, okay, fair enough. And is that likely to be a crack in the wood or is it the finish? It or? will probably just in the finish. Probably just in the finish. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that lo that's looking a lot, lot better. Yeah, that looks um, lovely. What we do is just just clean the front of the headstock as well. Mm -hmm. Again, whilst uh, the strings are off, it's a lot, lot easier. Yeah. Um, sometimes when the, f the headstock is quite dirty, mm -hmm. I'd recommend just just dropping these tuners off. Okay. okay. So, so you're actually just, taking them off. You can just un undo this this nut, mm -hmm. drop the tuners out, and then you can clean that headstock really, really well. Perfect. Okay. But you know that's a little bit more time, yeah. a little bit more effort, and just doing this regularly. We'll stop yeah. that from building up because what you can get over time is is a lot of build up and swells around these well, tuners. I think we've got a fair old bit of bit of grime that's built up on on the underside, which I don't think you can quite see from there. But that is a, oh look at that! Oh yeah, <laughs> that needs a good old bit of cleaning. That might not come off. No, is that gonna, that's that's been on too long. <laughs> <laughs> that's permanent dirt now. Um, but yeah. No sort of specific do's or don'ts with this type of a finish, as it were. It's, it's pretty robust. It's pretty robust. Okay. Yeah. Um, and will, you know, come up to a really good shine, you know. Mm. Um, dings like this, unfortunate, but they happen. And, mm. uh, you know, it's, it's not following on. It's not going anywhere else. No, indeed. Let's okay. have a look at that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it, this is what you'd... The first one I was fine with the guitar is... It's heartbreaking. Absolutely. The second one, much easier. Yeah. It's, uh, it does get a lot easier and, and you start being more and more able to put them down to 
character, I guess. Absolutely. An experience of the guitar. <laughs> but I think that's um, clean and poly finish. Yeah, uh, perfect. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, that's, that's very, very simple, nice and easy. That's the advantages of poly, poly guitar, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, that concludes it. We'll see you next time and we'll look at Nitro.